Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here again. So, uh, so this time I want to talk about uh, today's daily challenge problem, uh, which is number which is number three hundred ninety nine. Evaluate division. And okay, you're given like equations in the format of a divided by b equals to k, where a and b are variables represented as strings, which is this one, the first one. Okay, and the k is a real number, floating point number. Basically, you're given like a different a few equations here, and then and then then it it asks you to to calculate each of the queries here. Okay. Basically, you know, and if there's no, if the answer does does not exist, return minus one. Okay, so a divided by b, right? A divided by b equals to to two point zero, which means that's like a, a to b is two point zero, and then b to c is like what well, is three, right? Now the it asks you to to, to calculate the the a to c. Basically, you know, the a to c is like 6, right? Because the a to b is 2 and the b to c is 3. So which means 2 times 3 is 6. And then the next one is b to a. OK, so it's kind of re reverse. So b to a is like uh, 1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.5. And uh, the next one is a to e. So the e that does not exist, okay? which means it's gonna, that's why the, it is in the minus 1. And also a to a. Okay, so a is divided by a, which means it, it's equal to one. And x, x is minus one. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think it, it's because the a is in in the equations, and x is not. So basically, if they are the same and and the and and it's not in the equations, so then we return minus one. Otherwise, we we return one. Okay, cool. So basically, I mean, this one is like, I think it's a classic like graph problem. You know, basically, uh, you build the graphs based on the, the equations here with the weight, right? The weight is like this. It's like the 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 k here, but you but you you build you need to build it uh like by directions, right? So a to b is two, b to a is is, is uh one divided by two, because we might uh we might need to calculate from b to a. Okay. And once we have the graph here, so for each of the queries here, we have a basically the first element is our start, okay, and the, the second element is our is our target, and we just need to find the uh, the target by using a uh, by using like a a, a DFS a DFS search, right? And while we're doing the DFS search, every time when we have a new node, we're gonna we're gonna like a uh, uh, multiply, multiply with that with that value so that we can get the final answer here. And since uh, since it it says that you may assume that evaluating the queries will result in no division by zero and there's no contradiction. No contradiction means that from A to C there's only one path. So we don't have to worry about if there's any other path like from the E to f and then finally in in the end we get to c we, which so we, we can assume that i mean there's only a a unique path from from this uh start to the target so that we we can safely uh, just do uh, the our dfs search in the graph and the last one is this one where basically if the uh if they are the same, and if this one is in the in the, in the graph, then we return one. Otherwise, we re, uh, we return minus one. Cool. So I think that's pretty much it. So okay, let's let's try to build the graph first. Okay. So the graph is default dictionary uh, list. Okay. And then for i, and then the next one is, is u and v. Okay. From uh in Enumerate, okay. Enumerate equations. So graph this u dot append append v equals to k equals to uh, okay values dot i, okay. And the other a reverse 
add is like this, right? We build a, a add from V to U, where uh, whose value is one divided divided by the values of I. Okay, now we have the graph here. All we need to do is just to populate our answer by uh, by from and to, right? From and to, we have a quiz, okay? In queries, E R I E S, okay? And then uh, since we do a DFS, I'm going to use a Q here. So the Q is going to be uh, the the from first. Uh, yeah, so from and and the one, okay? Because we, you know, since we are we're storing basically two values, right? Uh, the, basically the the the, the evaluation, so the evaluation, the values of the evaluation of the current node at the beginning, at the beginning, the value will, uh, will be one since will be, uh, we need to, will be ma uh, multiply the values later on. So that's why we, we start with, uh, with one here. And uh, don't forget to create a stat here because uh, we need, we need to remember which which node has been visited otherwise we'll be and we'll be stuck in the infinite loop here and so uh, while Q okay we have a current node and then we have a value okay uh, equals the Q dot pop okay and if the node is equal to the target, okay. So then we simply uh, append uh, append the current value to to it. Otherwise, we we find the neighbors. Okay, we find the neighbor in uh, graph dot node. Okay, and then uh, if neighbor not in visited okay right then we just do a we we insert we append to the to, to the end of, of the queue here by uh we append this neighbor uh with the value which is the, the value is the uh oh yeah so so when i when we get the neighbors we also get the I mean the weight on on this edge here, right? To get to this neighbor, which is the v here. So we have a value times v here, or we can call it, I mean, a factor. Let's call it a factor here. Okay. Cool. So, and we also need to add this the neighbors, right, to the to the visited set here. So, and in the end, we simply uh, do a answer dot append. No, 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 we have already done that. Okay, but the, but then let's let's uh, handle this minus one case. So, um, I mean, if we never seen the target node here, right? We need to return like uh, we need to set to minus one. So in that case. Uh, I'm gonna define like has answer in the value here. So at the beginning, it, it's true. It's always true, right? So sorry, at the beginning, it's always false. And if we see a number here, right? And then we uh, we set this one to true. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise we uh, basically if not has answer. And we just uh, uh, it means that we we haven't seen the we haven't add uh, append the values to the answer here. So we now we append minor minus one here. Okay, so this should just work, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's try to run this code. Hmm? Cannot sign to function cause. Oh. God, what am I doing here? Okay, um, we're signing a t 
tuple here. Okay, man, what am I, th what am I thinking here? Uh, here. Okay, neighbor. Yeah. Okay. Not a tapo here. Oh, sorry. Okay, I uh, I think I forgot to handle this case here because you know for the AA here, this while loop can handle that because uh yeah because the A will will see will, will meet its its own target here, right? But with XX here, we're assuming we X is also valid, but it's not based on the based on the problem here. So basically, we need to do this. Uh, if right, if f equals to t, and uh, if f not in the graph, okay, then we just do an answer dot append minus one, okay. Else, else we can just do the do this, right? Cool. So I think this should work. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, because you know we're covering now. We're we're also covering this AA case here. So uh, yeah, we're basically we're skipping this AA case. <sighs> Else, answer dot append one. Yeah, yeah, I think this should work. Okay, submit. Cool. So it, it's accepted. All right. Cool. I mean that. I think that's it for this problem. It's a it's a, it's a classic like a graph problem. You know, um, not too much to be talk to be talking here. Basically, we just build like graph based on the equation here first. But remember, be careful here. We need to build the the edges. I mean, on both of the of the directions since. <clears throat> Since uh, from these equations we can get a divided by b, and we can also get uh, get a value for b divided by a. And once we have the graph here, all it's left is we for each of the queries here, we just need to find, I mean, basically the total amounts of of, of the weight, right? The the products of of all the weights from the the start node to the target node. And here it's just like a little bit like. Uh, Handling for this, uh, for the same, for the for the nodes that are, have the same values here, right? And then in here we just use like an answer to check if we have find the answer for the, for this query. Otherwise, minus one. Uh, and space and time complexity, right? I mean here, I mean this is pretty straightforward, right? I mean this is like the let's say this is M. The length of this is m, and it, and here is the length of n here, okay? Because this, this is also m, right? So, and the query is n here. So we have like, a, what's the? Yeah, we have a like a, here is a, is a o of m, okay? And here, uh, here we have a, a o of n times times uh, from and to basically this is o of uh, n time times m the uh, e equations right basically you know this is the o of time minus n time o uh, n times m because the worst case scenario is that we need to, for each of the queries here, we need to loop through the entire graph to be able to find the final answer. Okay, so that's the O n times m. And the space complexity is, so here we have a, we have a, we have a, this is a time, so this is a time and the space so the, the first part, this is like the uh, O of M. 
And second part is uh, we have a uh, we have a queue here, and for each time we have a queue and we have visited, right? So this part is also like uh, O of M here. So for the space complexity, it's like basically the O of M. Okay, cool. I think that should be everything I want to talk about for this problem. Mm, yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching the videos, guys. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.